is basically about spreading awareness about the gender discrimination in sports. So would you be comfortable answering a few questions about the same? Yes. Um, yeah, so uh, um, so could you like just introduce yourself and like tell us like a few words about like, you know, your sport and like, yeah. <laughs> okay, so my name is Tanvisha. I used to be a professional tennis player, so I'm an ex-tennis player basically. And uh, I was number one under 16, number two under 18. I played for India, I played the Youth Commonwealth Games, I played the Junior Australian Open in 2009 and several other, you know, events for India. So yeah, and WTA tournaments and professional events, so yeah. Okay, so what inspired you to play tennis? Um, you know, my brother used to play tennis actually, so that's how it started. And when I first moved to India, we lived in a place called Shivaji Park, which had a tennis court close by. So my brother used to go play and my parents just decided that, okay, let's just put her there too. So we get time, time to like hang out and she's like occupied. That's how it started. And then I would always go to like the park instead of playing. And my coach kind of like dragged me and got me back. And that's when he told my parents after a couple like sessions of me playing, you know, I see some potential in her and you should kind of push her. So that's how it really started. I obviously never knew if I wanted to do this. <laughs> yeah. So how did playing tennis impact you, like not only physically, but like mentally as well? You know, I think um, everyone should play sport in their life at some point. And it doesn't have to be competitive. It doesn't have to be professional, even recreational, because it just teaches you so much about life and it prepares you for life because it teaches you like hard work, you know, like teamwork, discipline, and just so many different qualities. Like the fact that you can be like, there is only one winner and you lose sometimes, but you still have to get up the next day and keep training hard enough to come back. So it teaches you to accept defeat and failure very early on in life, which is not something that we learn otherwise. And it teaches you to deal with that and to, you know, travel the world, meet people, be independent, just so many qualities. So I feel like it really prepares you for life. Yes. Um, so when you were training, like and playing tennis and like pursuing tennis as a sport, um, yeah. That time, did you experience any gender discrimination? Um, like people think that okay, men can continue playing the sport because you know, like they don't have to settle into the roles of getting married and having kids and having a timeline for life. Versus for women, it's like there's a timeline, like the clock's ticking, you know. I think it's definitely changed now, so I cannot say it still exists. I think there's a lot more, um, there's a lot more, I would say, information out there. There's a lot more awareness out there about, you know, not being so focused on specific roles, you know, for different genders. But I think still initially in my time, it was very like, okay, you know, you're going to play to a certain age, and then, of course, you're going to get married and have kids. That's just how it goes, you know. Versus for a man, it's like, hey, it doesn't matter whatever age you are, like, it's still okay. Like, for a girl, it's late if you're, like, a certain age and you haven't been married or had kids. So that definitely plays on your head because there's that sort of pressure from the back. That might not be, like, super out there pressure. On the back of your head, it's there, which sometimes brings you down a little bit. Um, so, like, in general, what do you think, like, male athletes can do to help uh, female ath athletes gain, like, more recognition and, like, you know, um, uh, you know, make them, like, yeah, <laughs> gain more recognition? Um, I don't know about recognition, but I definitely feel like, you know, a lot of them are sort of talking more openly about equal prize money. In tennis, at least I know that for, like, men's and women's sport. And I think even if you notice, like, the Indian, like, women's cricket team has gained a lot. I mean, they're, they're so popular now themselves. They don't need the support of the men's team, if you think about it. Because their performance speaks for itself. They're huge celebrities themselves. They hold their own. They have a huge digital presence, which possibly didn't exist many years ago. So I feel like it's definitely changing. It's changing for the better. I'm sure in smaller towns and like parts, there still is a lot that goes on, which unfortunately is going to take a lot of work. And the fact that a lot of male athletes are coming out in support and saying that, you know, women have it tough and we need to sort of like help them is a good is a good start, you know. And also them voicing their opinion and fighting for equal prize money is good because it shows that they're it shows that we're a team, you know, we're playing as one and sport is sport. It doesn't mean like a male dominant sport versus a female dom none of that like you're just an athlete you don't see man or woman so yeah lastly like for any young female athletes out there who are still trying to pursue their like dream in sports 
is there any like anything you would like to say that to them like a few words yeah i mean i definitely want to say that i hope you continue i hope you go out there and play 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 get as much exposure get as much experience as you can because it's something that's going to prepare you for life definitely think play a sport in your life because it's going to change your life and it's going to teach you so much that i can't i can't stress enough on it you know so i would definitely say that do it do it for your self more than anything i want every like young girl to know that you dream and you go after it yes there's going to be a lot of challenges and a lot of hurdles but that's life there in everything Okay, thank you so much for answering all of these questions. Oh, it, it was really interesting to hear your opinion and your views on this.